I'm proud to be introducing today Benjamin O'Levy. President of the Stratton Foundation for Culture and the Arts. And an avid collector of the works of Salvador Dali. So, Benjamino, can you tell me when and how you met Salvador Dali? I met Dali in the year 70 because in this uh, period I had, I organized uh, one uh, surrealistic exhibition in my gallery in Milan and uh, I didn't have any Dali work. So, I come to Paris and uh, uh, I meet Dali uh, through some friends who introduced me and uh, I meet him and his secretary Sabater and I bought from him two small paintings and I went. You were responsible and indeed a great influence in bringing many artists to Italy including the likes of Picasso and Magritte to name just a few. So what was it about Salvador Dali that really attracted you? Yes, I knew many artists from the last century but Dali was special. When he spoke, he uh, was uh, one special vocabulary. He spoke about philosophy, about uh, uh, all uh, psych psychoanalysis and all these things. And uh, I feel it uh, a different uh, uh, feeling with uh, talking with him. Talking, no, because he was talking all the time. I couldn't open my mouth, but it was very interesting. So after this first meeting with Dali, how long was it before you met again? Uh, I wait, uh, after eight years, I come back, I close my gallery in Milan, and I come in Paris, and I transfer my work here in Paris. And so I went to him to, 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 to talk and to see if we could, uh, I could uh, find something interesting, you know? And so, uh, in this occasion, I found uh, two small sculptures and uh, the secretary from him, Sabater, proposed me to buy the two sculptures and the rights to uh, make an uh, edition. For me it was a new business the edition because uh, I come from another uh, world. But anyway, I say to him, let me think. And after I uh, call him and I did, okay, I will buy. This was the beginning for my collection Dali Sculpture. In all the occasions that you were with Dali, did you ever meet his wife Gala? Of course I met her and in certain occasion she helped me a lot because with him was difficult but with her was more difficult but more realistic. So as president of the Stratton Foundation, which is renowned across the world for its cultural and educational aspects, you've exhibited in over 80 countries and been viewed by 10 million people. How did you go from acquiring two sculptures to such a collection? I began with two sculptures and the market began to know me and everybody who had some uh, Dali sculpture you called me and uh, I bought all this what Dali made before and uh, I collect uh, with the Stratton Foundation about uh, uh, 80, 90 big sculpture and with them I organize a lot, uh, quite 100 uh, exhibitions in museums all over the world. And uh, in China, for example, I organized uh, three exhibitions in three museums and in 2002. And uh, I continue to organize exhibitions uh, uh, all, all over the world. Having known Dali personally, and having worked with some of the foremost authorities on the world, uh, Enrique Sabater, Robert Deschamps, and his son Nicholas, um, can you tell me a bit more about that relationship? Well, I began to know Deschamps when uh, Sabater left Dali in the year 
1882 and uh, the charm, Robert de Charm became the secretary, the new secretary of Dali. He knew Dali since uh, 20, 30 years because he worked with him a lot of things. He made a lot of photos from Dali. And so I, I uh, become uh, quite friend from the Charm because I need him to uh, to present my exhibitions and he wrote for me also one uh, piece, critic piece for my exhibition uh, which I put in all my uh, catalog uh, all over the world. So Benjamino, why was it that you chose Paris to open the first permanent exhibition of Salvador Dali's sculptures? I found this space in Paris and I was very lucky to find it because it's not only Paris but it's Montmartre and then Dali, uh, Dali spent uh, half of his life in, in Paris and uh, this was uh, a nice idea to open this permanent exhibition here in this, ta in this city. You spent so much time with Salvador Dali, you must have some amazing stories, I mean would you mind sharing one of them with me now? For example, this sculpture, he present me one uh, uh, maquette in wax and uh, was the head for this sculpture was very low here, bend. Uh, and I told him, please, can you please uh, put the head a little bit higher because uh, in my mind was difficult for sale with those bend. And uh, he throw in the floor the maquette and say I make what I want so Gala come and Gala say ah Salvador you have to do what uh, Mr. Levy uh, ask you because uh, he perhaps is right and so without her help I couldn't have the sculpture like this today he uh, removed it and he put the sculpture like Day. It's here. With all of the artwork that Dali created, what do you think the legacy is that he has left behind? Dali invites us to dream. His collection has been viewed in over 80 museums and seen by over 10 million people around the world. And in the last few years alone, his education program has brought 2,000 young people into the world of Dali and the world of art.